Greetings, pen pals. We have another inexpensive Chinese pen here today. This is the Wing Song Model 9158. It is a roughly $2 or less Chinese uh, pen. Um, it's a little different than I think a lot of other pens from Wing Song that, uh, that uh, we've talked about, so let's get right to it. So first of all, it's uh, from a size perspective. Here it is compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. And as you can see, it is a tiny bit shorter when posted than, um, than either of these guys. So we're not talking about a huge pen. We're talking about a predominantly plastic pen as well. Weighs 17 grams. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's a triangular barreled pen. It might be a little hard to see, but if we open up the cap, you can see this is a, basically a relo triangle. Um, if you remember the video on the uh, Omas 360, I explained the mathematics behind the relo triangle, but that's basically what this is. It's sort of a triangle with rounded corners. So when you cap and post this guy, you have to have it lined up properly. You can't just stick it in uh, any which way. Uh, speaking of triangles, it, it does have the three-sided faceted grip, so it is going to force that tripod style grip, much like, say, on a, um, say, a Lamy Safari. Um, speaking of Lamy, um, this uses a Lamy style nib. In fact, these nibs are in fact compatible. This pen is in fact compatible with Lamy nibs. I'll do a little demonstration of a Lamy nib in this pen a little later on in the video. But yes, this is a, a looks like a Lamy style nib and is compatible with Lamy nibs. The section is nice. So the body of the pen is, is uh, gloss transparent and the section is uh, frosted uh, uh, in, you know, uh, frosted. So that does provide a little bit of uh, better grip and also just kind of makes it look a bit nice. Mm -hmm. The cap itself has sort of this, uh, is sort of the edge of the cap is sort of cut on an offset. So that just looks nice style wise when, when it's posted or when it's capped, it looks pretty cool. The inside of the cap has these sort of uh, facets cut into the inside. So again, maybe that provides a little reinforcement or perhaps just uh, looks nice, what have you. But it does. It is. It is. It is all in all, pretty, uh, pretty attractive looking uh, pen. Um, one thing it does have, which is super nice, it has this very, very effective cap liner in the pen. In the cap, when you uh, cap the pen, uh, the top of the section does click in to that liner and uh, does work quite well and is very effective. Um, the clip is a substantial clip very sort of bulky up top where it's connected and then kind of tapers down but it's a very substantial clip it is very 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 stiff it has almost no give to it at all very um uh, substantial clip uh you might think that this pen could be eyedropper unfortunately there's a hole at the end so unless you want to go through the whole rigmarole of plugging that or whatever which i wouldn't recommend you're going to be stuck to using cartridges or the included converter um, but it holds a decent amount of ink. Speaking of the converter, this is one of those converters that has that spring type agitator. A lot of people don't like those because it does take up some room or they find just maybe the little noise that it makes a little bit annoying, etc. You can re take this converter apart and remove that if that really, really bothers you. Doesn't particularly bother me, so I'll just leave it in, um, in place. That is pretty much the parts of this pen. Very, very nice pen. But now let's get to what I consider to be one of the nicest features of this pen. And that is the fact that this pen comes in a uh, spectrum of colors. So in fact, it comes in five colors plus the uh, clear demonstrator that I was uh, demonstrating. Um, and there we go. So this is what's uh, the colors that are available. So a lot of the, the pen costs about $2, but if you buy it in a set, you can save yourself a buck or two. Uh, some vendors look on eBay, etc. do sell it uh, as a complete set. So you have a green, a blue, a red, a purple, the transparent demonstrator, and sort of like a aqua, which um, again, very, very nice selection of colors. Um, and I think they're very, very vibrant. They look nice. You shouldn't have any problem pairing these with some nice inks that'll match them very, very uh, nicely. 
Um, and again, the Lamy nib compatibility is a very, very nice feature. And we'll, like I said, we'll get to that in a moment. Um, about the only complaint that I really have about this pen is twofold. One is is only available in an extra fine nib. Not totally surprising given that it's pro predominantly meant for the uh, local Chinese uh, market. But the good news with that is, like I said, there's both Lamy nibs and other Lamy compatible nibs that you could easily swap this out with. So um, that's not too much of a problem. My other small gripe is it would have been super, super nice if they didn't have the the hole at the end and you would have been able to eyedropper this. That would have just opened up a whole nother world of possibilities. But again, uh, not, uh, not, a, uh, not a problem. Again, the tripod grip may be polarizing to some people. Um, uh, oh, speaking of grip, um, I personally like to post my pens. I think this is a little bit short. Given that the pen is light enough, I don't see any reason not to post it. You're certainly not going to have a back weighting issue here, but it does post. It posts pretty nicely. But again, you have to have the barrel lined up. You can't just post it willy-nilly. Same thing when you cap it. You do have to have um, the cap lined up, otherwise it won't, snap in, uh, it won't snap into place. But that sort of offset cut in the end of the clip uh, cap looks pretty nice. Only downside of that is if you're one of these people that doesn't post but likes to set your cap down uh, upright for whatever reason, you you obviously won't be able to do that here. Um, but um, that is our pen. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice. So let me um, show you. Um, we'll do a writing sample in a minute. So I have two of these. Um, inked up uh, at the moment. I have the red one and the purple one. So I have the red one I inked up and has the stock nib. So we'll get to see how the stock nib writes. And then um, I want to see how it wrote with a Lamy nib and check the Lamy nib compatibility. So I wanted to check two things. I wanted to see if the uh, it would work with a Lamy nib. And, I, and while we're checking that, let's just see if the feed can keep up with a big stub nib. So this is a Lamy 1.1 millimeter stub. We'll be checking that out as uh, well. Um, so, as we always said, pens were meant to write. I'm sure, sure, you're going to want to see how this pen writes. And we're going to find that out right now. Okay, folks, this is a Wing Sung. model 9158 and this has a extra fine steel nib um this writes pretty good so this has a good flow um it is pretty smooth and um, writes really, really well. I'd say it's uh, about average wetness for an extra fine nib like this, but it definitely has a good, good flow. And like I said, so far for me, this has been a first time every time writer. This um, inner cap that the um, section snaps into um, has been quite, quite, um, quite, quite uh, effective. So it does, uh, it does, uh, it does write uh, quite, quite well, and I'm quite, quite, quite pleased with it. And the ink I have this paired with uh, today is Diamine Wild Strawberry. Um, I don't have a bottle of this to show you as I... Um, only um, got this out of a sample, um, but pretty nice, eh? Diamine Wild Strawberry. Um, okay, so that's what the stock nib is like. Oh, and by the way, as as you could expect, there is there is no flex to be had whatsoever here. Absolutely not. But you know that probably shouldn't surprise any of you. So that's. Um, what it looks like with the stock nib. Now let's take a look at this other one that I um, um, installed this nib here, which is a uh, Lamy 1.1 uh, millimeter uh, stub. Um, and that actually works uh, quite well as well. And I wanted to see how that worked and if the feed could keep up and all that. So this again is a wing song. Uh, 
9158. But this has a um, Lamy steel 1.1 millimeter stub nib. And this um, this works really well. I mean, again, very nice. If you want like a nice Lamy compatible pen that's inexpensive, this is definitely a good way to go. Speaking of a good way to go, what would be just a great way to go is if all of you folks could please uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. That would just be outstanding and much appreciated. Um, like I said though, this uh, Lamy stub nib works great so you shouldn't have any problem putting a Lamy nib or any Lamy compatible nib a bunch of other Chinese manufacturers uh, also make uh, nibs that will work in Lamy pens um, but this works well feed has no problem keeping up and it nib just pulls right out and you could slide your Lamy nib uh, right in so uh, we could do a we could do a little side by side of uh, the stock nib against the Lamy nib so you can see kind of uh, that they really are, they really are uh, basically the same uh, form factor and all that. And again, not going to have a problem getting them to uh, to fit uh, at all. So that is basically the deal with this very very nice um, wing song. 9158 just a really really nice super nice pen. oh sorry before i forget i forgot to tell you what ink this one is so this uh this ink in the purple is um is a um a j herban ink so this is um uh j herban and um alarms alarm De Cassis. And I do have the bottle of this to show you, so you're not totally dependent on my French pronunciation. But this is a really nice uh, purple. It's not that different than the um, Moon Dust purple from uh, Jehoban as well. But this is it. But it's it's a, it's a, it's a it's a lighter version of that, so a more pastel-y version of that. But pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying, is I think that might just about do it for this video for this week. I certainly hope you enjoyed watching it, because I know cer I certainly enjoyed making it. And as always, until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.